Hi, I'm Cedric and today I'm going to use the power of AI to scare my mom. Alright, so here's the big idea. I'm going to grab this Raspberry Pi over here and I'm going to write Python code all over it. And it's going to be connected to this webcam. So the Python code I'm going to write is going to be computer vision based, it's going to be AI based, and I'm going to train it to recognize my mom's face. So whenever I angle it at a certain uh, inconspicuous corner to look at my mom, whenever it detects my mom, it's going to actually play an audio file, which would most probably be my voice. And hopefully that would be scary enough to get a really good reaction out of her. So with this set in mind, let's get started. To start things off, let's talk about everyone's favourite topic, the code. So I first feed the machine pictures of my family and it learns how to take over humanity. Um, I, I mean, it can tell my face apart from my mom's and my brother's. And anyone else will be labelled as unknown. So when it detects a predetermined target that I've coded into the system, it plays an audio file as such. This is your conscience. Oh, it works! This is your conscience speaking. So now all that's left is to make sure that it works on the Raspberry Pi and to change it such that my mom is the focal face of the project now. And also I got to figure something that would scan my mom. Something like So remember how at the start of this whole thing I said I'm going to be using this webcam for the project, right? Well, there's two problems with that now. Well, the very first problem is that this takes up too much electricity. Like, I can't even run it on my laptop and I have no idea why they create this and like, I can't even use it. Like, what's your purpose? Like, you can't even fulfill your basic function. Like, it's stupid, right? And the second thing, like web cameras tend to have lower megapixels. So I had to get creative, okay not very creative but like I had to spend some money and bought myself a proper camera module. So now that I got the camera module, I set it up on the Raspberry Pi and I transferred over the, uh, compu the AI code over to the Raspberry Pi. And I did this remotely using uh, SSH or Secure Shell. Uh, it's a network communication protocol that enables two computers to communicate and I totally didn't read that off of Google. When I uploaded the code over to the Raspberry Pi, there seems to be an issue. Apparently there's an error with one of the libraries, the PlaySound library to be exact. So what is a library? A library is basically a collection of code written by smart people that's widely used in the community because it's, it's already written so we don't have to write any code from scratch, you can just use theirs, right? So in this case, the play sound library was what I was using to basically play my audio, right? To scare my mom. So I did some research and I found that the Raspberry Pi does not support the play sound library. So I changed to the Pi game library, which is very well supported by the Raspberry Pi. And using that, the code started to work. This is your con. This is your con. This is your con. This is your con. It works. So for the final part, I had to change the code such that the audio would play upon seeing my mom's face instead of mine. So I changed Cedric to Mimi because that's what I call my mom and I call my brother Titi, right? So I changed the code and here's what it looks like. So from here you can see that it detects my face. My brother looks similar to me, so yeah, and it no longer uses the the audio that I was using previously. So now when it looks at my mom, it will trigger the shout, I hope. We'll see. All right, so for the last part of this project, I'm gonna hide all this Raspberry Pi chunky stuff inside a box or something, leaving only this out. And I'm thinking of maybe um, using a water bottle so I'll poke a small hole and leave this part protruding out. 
Cool, let's get to it. Instead of a water bottle, I found a use for the web camera. I'm going to use its box so that at least its whole existence is not wasted. So I poked a hole in the box where I wanted the camera to be and then I used a whole ton of sticky tape to just stick down the camera module into the box. I think it turned out pretty well, right? It looks so inconspicuous, like no one would expect it to be a camera. So this tote bag is going to be our disguise, so I'm going to place it like sideways on the table because it's always on my mom's table, so she'll never suspect it. Alright, so I'll get to putting all this in. And right here, this part will be left out with the camera facing out. Just like this, I should never suspect it. Right. And it also acts as a cover up for the wires that are coming out for the charger. And there's a very nifty clip here which I can just use. Nice. So, this is what she'll be seeing. So, this is the corner of my house where my mom is usually doing her work, that, that's her work stuff. Right, so I set the camera right here. Okay, my mom's screen is a bit wonky. But I can still run the code. Hopefully it works, yes. Alright, run. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And voila. Okay, we are seeing it right out of here. Oh shucks, it's upside down. So it was really difficult to work with a box, right? So I decided to cut out the back and I used staples to, to fixate these parts. Right, so I'll find the orientation of the camera and I'll promptly just pop it into this hole once more. So as you can see, the camera is right here. And alright, so... Dang, this is difficult. Okay, this is the right orientation, and I will now I'll put the cardboard over it. Alright, so I used some masking tape and it looks great, from the outside at least. <laughs> so as you can see, it looks seemingly harmless, but it's a full view camera. Okay, so we're going to set this up and hopefully it scares my mom. Okay, so dress for a dry run. I've changed the code to react to my face instead. So Ma! 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 And that's Ma! what's supposed Ma! to happen. Okay. Two one are you? Hmm? Two one. Trip has been set. Scold me very good already. <laughs> Are you impressed? I'm shocked. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> this is really good. 
And so that was how I scared my mom using the power of artificial, uh, auto, auto, artificial intelligence. That's a mouthful. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm excited to have you. Um, I'm trying to come up with new content ideas, so do let me know in the comment section what kind of videos you guys are into. Do you guys want to watch tutorials, learn how to do what I do? Or do you guys want funky video ideas and your recommendations on the funky video ideas? Or perhaps you would want me to clear up the Michael Reeves comment section. Well, I, I could attempt to do that, I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section. I'm going to read every single comment and I'll try to respond to as many as I can. So some Something cool has been happening recently. I've been gaining traction on the Excel rap video and people from that video have been asking me questions on YouTube, on Instagram and some even managed to telegram me. And I just thought that it's so cool to interact with you guys, you know, I re I'm, I'm really excited when I get a chance to speak with you guys. It's really uplifting to me. Like, I really enjoy it, I truly do. And speaking of social media, if you have not followed me on Instagram, please do. You can find me at Sad is Happy on all my media platforms actually, I use it everywhere, like set is happy. Do you get it? It's ironic because set sounds like set, right? So if you want to see what I do kind of on a daily basis, yeah, check out my Instagram. That's why I post most often. Last but not least, I hope you enjoyed watching my content. If you do, please leave a like, comment and a subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!